Welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway for the by and large 500 with the first race in the spring and our third short track race. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Bella Wheelhouse and J.D. McPillar. In row 2, Bobby Swift, last week's winner, trying to make it two in a row with Phil Tankson, the summer winner here. In row 3, rookies Colin Bargain and Brandon Power Car. In row 4, H.J. Hollis and Jackson Storm. In row 5, Cal Weathers and Lightning McQueen. In row 6, Master Dragon 4000 and Chase Race a lot. In row 7, Brian Spark and Daniel Suarez. And in row 8, Ryan Laney and Cruz Ramirez. Here's the race format, 25 laps, 13.25 miles around the .53 mile track and pit road speed is 30 miles per hour. The pace car is green and it's an old Dodge Charger. Here it goes to the pits. We're ready for St. Patrick's Day weekend. The green flag is in the air. Already, JD McPillar from the inside just passed the number six, which was in the outside. Now he's in the outside, the number four, JD McPillar. And he is going to lead lap one. Brandon Power Car is trying to be a lucky one, trying to win the race in that number seven O'Reilly car. Bobby Swift trying to pass the number four to get a second win in a row. Bo Wheelhouse just slams the wall. But he's okay. earlier was trying to make it three wide but instead he just keep the pack neutral here he goes behind the number 19 of Bobby Swift JD McPillar leads the first four laps of the race oh we seen some contact through the wall it was a six or the 28 that slammed the wall this track is pretty slick, so some wall slamming could be common. Brandon Power Car and Bobby Swift are drafting with each other, trying to pass the number four JD McPillar, preventing him from winning at Bristol Motor Speedway. Oh, Bobby Swift goes to the inside, side by side against number four, J.D. McPillar. And here we go in lap eight. They're still side by side. Bobby Swift takes the lead. Brandon Power Car trying to pass the number four and the 19. Bobby Swift leads lap eight. Number 95 for Lightning McQueen is not doing well. We'll do a status report on him later. I could tell that Master Dragon 4000 struggling and the number 7 passes the number 4. Brandon Power Car is past the number 4 JD McPillar. Brandon Power Car is trying to get his first career win and trying to win in a number 7 with a green paint scheme for St. Patrick's Day weekend. And we've made it halfway. Now time to get ready for the halfway jam.
Bobby Swift still in the lead against the number 7 of Brandon Power Car. That number 19 car has been fast since Phoenix. Now we're going to look at his teammate Jackson Storm still trying to pass the number 6. Hopefully they don't cause an incident like at Phoenix. Now here we go with 10 laps to go. Bobby Swift still in the lead against number 7. Nothing is stopping the number 19 from... Oh, he slammed the wall! The caution isn't out yet. And there's no plans on getting a caution. Because there's no debris on the track, so... Race still green flag. All right, we're gonna take a status report on Lightning McQueen. Right now, he's in 14th place, trying to challenge his teammate. And also, Master Dragon 4000 slammed the wall. He dropped to 16th place, Master Dragon 4000. It's a difficult day for Master Dragon 4000, Persian Mirrors, and Lightning McQueen. But here we go with seven laps to go here in the by and large 500. Now with six laps to go, JD McPillar and Jackson Storm swap positions as you can see from the scoring board on the left. Now here we go with 5 laps to go, Bobby Swift still in the lead, Brandon Power Card is not even close enough to draft with the number 19 and then pass him. But if Brandon Power Card finishes second or first, it will be his highest finishing position in his career so far. Now here we go with 4 laps to go, Bobby Swift still in the lead. The other rookies, Colin Bargain is in 8th place, 11th place is Shea Hollis, and last is Master Dragon 4000. So far Master Dragon 4000 is in 1st place of the rookie class. Here we go with 3 laps to go. Brandon Powercar is trying to catch up to Bobby Swift, but instead the 19 has been strong. I feel like it's dirty air trying to affect the both. But here we go with two laps to go. Bobby Swift still in the lead against the number seven of Brandon Power Car. The number seven trying to win in St. Patrick's Day with the green car. But here we go. The white flag is out. Next flag will end the race. Bobby Swift is still in the lead. The number seven trying to pass the number 19. Now, coming out of turn number three and four, Bobby Swift is going to win the by and large 500. Brandon Powercar second, third Bubble Wheelhouse, fourth Jackson Storm, and fifth Cal Weathers. Congratulations to Bobby Swift winning the by and large 500, so he won for a second week in a row. And JD McPillar is taking another lap just because he forgot to enter the pits. Here are the official results, Bobby Swift is the fastest car of the day, so Joe Gibbs Racing has been fast for two weeks in a row already. That's impressive. Next Friday we are going to the capital of Texas for the Triple Dent Gum Grand Prix at 3.30pm Pacific and 630 Eastern. Thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, and see you in Austin. This is the Candy Cat 127, signing out.